Okay, so we're going to start the uh, Jack in the Box and we're going to go to Surfaces mode. Uh, and we're going to begin by creating a uh, NURBS uh, square. Now, when we create the square, it'll be created right in the center. And I'm going to use the scale X, Y, and Z uh, and highlight that and type in 10 to scale that size up by 10 on each dimension. Now what you will notice is that when you're on a, a NURBS square, you have uh, four different segments. I'm going to take the uh, grid off. Okay, each one of the sections of this square is a curve, a separate curve. What I'm going to do here is create a um, fillet or uh, between the sections which will make a round rounded corner a curved fillet and I'll go here and go to the option box uh, I'm going to apply that and what you can see is that I have a, a curve on the between these two lines now I'm going to select line 2 and line 3 and hit the same application or apply it again line 3 and hold down shift key and hit line 4 and then hit apply and then line 4 and line hold down shift key hit line 1 and hit apply so now what I have uh, essentially is all of these uh, curves and the fillet in between each one of them so I'm going to click curve one and fillet one and this time I'm going to go to um, edit um, curves and I'm going to, to attach the curves and I'll go to the option window and I'll make sure I'm connecting them I'll, I'll do a reset and then I'll click connect and then I don't want to keep the uh, originals I'm going to apply and so I'm going to attach in each one of these rounds. So I'm going to keep the ones that I have and just hold the shift key down and, and then click the new section. I'm, I'm scrolling in by using the alt and, and uh, right mouse button. And then I'm adjusting this by using the alt and left mouse button. I'm going to apply the, uh, hit apply again. I'll hold down the shift key, hit apply again. Hold down the shift key, hit apply again hold down the shift key and add the new curve and hit apply again and same thing all the way out now what is happening is now I have a curve that is uh, complete that is one segment uh, so I'll get my move tool and I'm going to go over to edit and I'm going to duplicate this curve and then I'll grab the duplicate and pull it up a little bit I'm going to scroll out a bit and I'm going to pull this piece up somewhere around and translate why about four units up. So I'll type in four. Well in this case I think I typed in 3.5 or 3.3 .3. and that looks about right. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is I want to do a loft between these two curves. So I select curve one, I'll hold my shift key down and I'll select curve two. I go to surfaces and loft. And now what I have is some surfaces lofted between the two uh, curves. I'll go to smooth shade all so you can get a good look at how this uh, curved surface is created using the two curves here. What I want to do is select that top curve that I just had and that's called nerve